What's good, everybody? The hoodie with a child. It's your boy Pro Woods. Santiago Trill. Come on, you wanna call me? Haven't seen you in a while. Two wheels up, of course. I'm okay. I'm safe. Um, just pretty little motivation. But that's all about to change because we've got a big trip uh, planned, and so I'm very excited to show you how I'm gonna get ready for that and the trip itself. But in the meantime, I have another two-wheeled thing for you guys today. Um, when I was a kid. I had a Razor scooter, me and my sister shared one, and it was gray, and it was cool, and I don't remember it very much, but it does not work, and we had it in our garage for probably 12 years before we just got rid of it. So I decided, with all the two-wheeled vehicles I have, and the fact that all of them are over 17 years old, I think my newest, got an 08, an 07, an 01, and an 87. Um, I figured I'd splurge, get myself something nice, and do what you should do when buying any sort of consumer electronic and wait until the pre-owned price is good enough to where you're not spending six, seven, eight hundred dollars on a new vehicle or a new scooter or a new bike. It may be, it might be one of those three things. Today we're going to be looking at the NIU KIQ2 Pro. Um, this is a 2022. I picked it up used for $270 which is a far cry from its 600 US dollar retail price only two years ago. And this one came pre-owned, lightwear. I haven't even seen it. I haven't opened the box. I still got the tape on it. As you guys can see. Oh, there you go. As you guys can see, I was gonna use my sword to open it, but it doesn't even look like I had to do that. Um, Yeah, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna put it together. We're going to take it out on a first little range test. This thing has a range of 25 miles and a top speed of 17.6 miles per hour. I've seen you need an app to set it up, and I've never had to do that before for a vehicle, so that's going to be interesting to go through with you guys. Um, just see, is it worth it? I mean, in my eyes, it's worth it because paying under $300 shipped to my front door is a scooter with 25 miles of range. My little sister is going off to college soon, and so this is gonna end up being a gift for her, unless I like it a lot, and then I'll buy her her own, right? But um, yeah, let's just get into it. Let's see what we've got going on in the box today. I don't know if it's came, so it did come disassembled. Um, in this box, we have a box. Uh, in this box we have, oh guys, another box, no way. In this box we have, little would you know, <laughs> a third box. Um, I bought this from eBay. Uh, eBay, I know some people are scared of eBay, but for items like this to where I don't feel like I'm going to either A, lose an arm and a leg, and B, eBay actually has really, really good customer protection when it comes to stuff like that, especially with the whole eBay auto stuff nowadays. This doesn't qualify for eBay auto, but um, I trust them to, in case the product I'm sent not being a good one, I can at least go ahead and get my monies, my monies back. Um, we've got a fourth box. And, oh, a fifth box. This one actually has some stuff in it. Definitely has some wear on the scooter here. I hope so. Um, for under half of its retail price. I mean, I was I was originally going to Best Buy, and they have, like, the KQI3 Pro, and they've got all these newer models, like $1,600, $700 scooters. I don't have a $600, $700 scooter budget. Again, I just bought a motorcycle that's two years older than I am. So I, I like to stick within a certain amount of budget. Um... I, this looks pretty straightforward. Do I just... NIU KQI2 Scooter Pro Electric Scooter Lightweight Portable Scooter 25 mile range, 15 miles an hour. Um, $279.99 for this. So shipped to my house was $299.99. Thank you, Illinois, for taxing the heck out of me. Let's put this kick stand down. Let's get rid of uh, Let's get rid of that. And let's see how we can get this to lock in place. So, as you guys can see here, there's a little lock I can pull up on. All right, Ugh. I unboxed it on camera for you guys. As you guys can tell by the one, two, three, four, five empty boxes, but I was so out of frame, it's crazy. I promise you this is not my full-time job. 
but I paid $279 for this. $299 shipped to my front door. And it's used, as you guys can see, there's the charging port here. Um, grip deck's a little scratched, whatever. But it's under half price, and I was going to Best Buy and looking at stuff, it's crazy value. Um, to unlock this top portion here, you're gonna pull up on this, pull it back out until the second lock comes down. And then you can lock it in here, right there, and you've got a way of just carrying it there. Don't mean to flex my lack of muscles here, but to pull that back out, all you're gonna do is reverse the steps, pull this out here. Well, I don't think I screwed that in. Pull this up, lock the first lock into place here, second one should just go right on over, and bam, you've got a scooter, kinda. Well, you'd have a scooter if it was uh, screwed in properly. Let's get those screws, because I also have, right over here. Don't you love a rudimentary YouTube video? I tend to find myself watching more of the uh, unedited videos and stuff, more than I actually watch the higher production stuff. So it's, kinda, it's fun to do it myself. Share that with you guys. All right, in the box here, I've got a user manual, I've got a certification, I've got a charger here, which is, wow, um, ridiculously light. I don't like light chargers, but what can you do? Uh, charging cord here for that as well, as well as a taped bag, aftermarket tape, as we like to say around here. Um, inside this aftermarket taped bag, I'm hearing stuff. Hopefully stuff to put this to back together. Oh, okay, we've got a lot of screws here. Okay, now the fun part is gonna be finding out where these all go, eh? We've got six screws, six screws, six screws in here, a air pump little nozzle for the tires. These are 10 inch tires right here. Honestly, a lot more tread life than I was, ex I was expecting to have to get new tires, but um, a lot more tread life than I was expecting. Uh, just I got my helmet with the GoPro for the bike, so I'm just gonna look a little silly and ride around with a full face helmet on. So let's go ahead and get that done. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, it's time for the fun part. Um, we're going to take the scooter out. Obviously we've got it at an undisclosed location. I actually really wanna test out how this thing would do off road, but um, it is a really pretty scooter. You can see the headlight here, always on headlight, always on. You can see there's a little bit of wear and tear on it. Um, the tires are actually um, super deflated. You can see here, I can push all the way through them. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold it against it, but I do think it would help to deflate them a little bit. Maybe not this much, but for the, uh, for the off-road test here. As you guys can see, it's got a display right here. It's saying it needs to pair to Bluetooth. I don't have a phone on it right now. For it to go forward, I thought it'd be like a twist, but actually it's just your thumb here, gets it off. Got the bell here, kickstand, I'm digging into the ground. But um, yeah, at five foot seven, you can see I'm actually super down low on it, which is super sweet. Um, we're gonna take this thing out and we're gonna test its off-roading first. Oh, it's got the, um, it has, it doesn't have just kickstart. So people don't like kickstart scooters, some people don't. Um, that's where you have to kick off for it to let you go forward This scooter actually just has throttle start, which I think they added in a firmware update from the videos I used to watch on it But um, yeah, I've got it in its full mode. There's also an Eco save right here. So it just lowers your top speed lowers its acceleration So you can cruise around without having to do too much, right? So make sure I've got it in frame here And yeah, just going along the road I got a full helmet on. I got my gloves on. I probably look a little silly, but hey man, for the safety. But yeah, this limits your speed to about 12 miles an hour, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 miles an hour. Um, it's handling the pathing like a champ though. I wonder if I can, oh, oh I scraped it. Oh, scraped it so much I lost my camera. There we go. This thing, I need to be tightened a little bit. There we go. Oh. Still doesn't, still falls. All right, there we go. But yeah, Woo. handles this kind of stuff like a champ. Honestly, it's doing a pretty good job. Um, when I was a kid, this used to be, you used to be able to see the everything, but it is just all marsh, all swamp here. And with it only weighing a little bit under 40 pounds, 
you could really throw this thing around if you wanted to. You don't really have to worry about it um, getting too much in the way of anything. Or like your ability to kind of like pull it around. You can kind of just... Oh, you can kind of just throw it around. So let's take it off of e-save mode. I'm not sure if you have to stop or not for it, but I'm going to anyway. There we go. Oh. There we go. Let's get back to the full power mode. But yeah, it's taking this as a champ. You've got slight inclines here stuff like that it's doing it really well just kind of flying around here it's not like you know some crazy obstacle course or anything like that but it definitely has its bumps and grooves it's got its branches and stuff small little branches as you can see i'm flying i'm going 15 through this place like it's nobody's business i mean this thing is pretty rad you know just for having something to get you out and around without needing to oh I might need to learn how to ride it a little better, but yeah, just for something to get you out and around town and stuff like that That's a pretty dang good job. Let's uh pull the POV up here more so you can see kind of what I'm going through uh, Just some pretty back back road backyard kind of thing oh. It's uh, a small little forest reserve. We have um, in an undisclosed location somewhere in my area but yeah, it's taking the stuff like a champ. I'm kind of just flying through this. Actually, this is much better than I thought it was. I'm assuming the air down tires are actually giving me quite a bit of confidence here because uh, I'm not feeling unstable at all. I'm not feeling the bumps kind of like throwing me around. I'm just kind of cruising for a bruising right now. But I am also very excited. Let's uh, pull the POV back down because we're passing some backyards here and I would hate to, uh, I would hate to be that guy, but we're gonna take it right here and we're gonna go up a very very steep incline here um i'm really excited to see how this thing will perform the steep incline right there as you guys can see if i look ahead on the camera we can take it out go for a little walk as you guys can see i'm going up probably see i wish i knew my degree there's a little bunny oh there's a bunny over there oh i'm probably going up a good 25 feet at the very end it's actually a really steep incline so i'd love to see how the niu does here wow hold on this is a great place to take a picture holy cow let me uh let me get my photo going here let's uh get our picture of this thing oh man with the sun in the background this thing looks nuts Honestly, it's really funny to say, oh yeah, it's a really pretty scooter, but that always on headlight actually works so much in its favor. Let's see if I can zoom out more. Get something like that. That is sweet. Okay, let's get back on the road. I got two bars of range. That's how much it had when I got it. I put it on the charger for about 55 minutes. Um, the charging time on this thing is about seven hours, which is its biggest downside. But if you're not going to be like, you know, going too crazy with it or taking too many commutes with it, you should be more than fine. I am foot to the floor right now or finger to the throttle. I'm going about 11. Very bumpy here. A lot of off terrain and we're taking this thing super well. Actually, again, way better than I expected. Slowing down to nine, eight. And there we are, we made it over the hill. Let's uh, put the POV down. You guys can see the kind of terrain. We're going to take a left instead of going back into the main suburban egg area. We're going to head up an even steeper incline here. Foot to the floor, pedal to the metal. We're going about seven. Takes a lot of wear on the battery. It's wearing it out, but it's going pretty well. And there we go. We made it in and through. Yeah, this thing is this thing is rad. Oh. Ooh, it did a little drift there with my back tire. I lost my grip. Let's head down here. See what's going on. Oh man. Ooh. Yeah, this thing's sweet. Honestly, with the air down tire, it performs better than I thought it would. Again, another thing where I just I thought it'd perform worse and it's it's proven me wrong here and there so yeah kqi2 we're gonna probably try to get into the suburbanite area see how oh my god it's just such a pretty scooter why does the scooter look good like 
Okay. Um, yeah, we're probably going to get it out onto the, uh, the roads here. Let me take a portrait photo of it as well. Bam. Okay. Let's get it back out on the main roads. Let's see how it does in that kind of environment. And then we'll, uh, we'll call it a review. So time for me to look dumb in public, but I got the, I got the, hold on. I can show you guys. I got the, um, oh, maybe I can't cause I don't know how to take off the GoPro or the DJI. Sorry. I don't know if you guys can tell, but <laughs> got the full head on, got the gloves on. I mean, she's just a beauty. Oh my goodness. Look at her. 10 inch tires right here. They're tubeless. So they're like the, they're like the same as motorcycle tires. So you don't have to worry about a flat as much. Um, these things are aired down pretty bad. You've got this light here that when you put on the brakes actually illuminates. I've heard some people saying they wish they flash. I agree with that. Um, I want to get that modification done to the motorcycles, but man, $270. You really just can't go wrong with something like this. You really can't. So uh, let's get it back on the main road. Let's uh, do some main road stuff and we'll call it a video, eh? Alrighty. We have made it to our also undisclosed location for some pathing here. Um, we've got a nice little path that connects our, our town square to the, uh, the community centers here. Oh, we've got some rocks. Oh, all right, pulling right here. Oh man, this thing, this thing again for having little bad tires. I think that's actually helping quite a bit here because it makes me feel super, super stable when I'm cruising around here. Like this is by no means smooth pathing by, by any chance. And I don't know what I'm doing. I've I haven't ridden a scooter since you know I was a young lad. Oh. So, for me to be able to, to, trans, to traverse these uh, difficult situations and, I don't know, I don't think you could go much more off-roading than I'm going right now with the thing. I don't think you could do much more pathing than I could do now with this thing. But for the time being, this thing is, uh, this thing is excellent. Flying through the pathing here, you can see we're going 17. Uh, it seems to be about where this thing's capped again. We're low on battery here I don't even know if I have enough battery to make it back home, but you know for the video. It's worth a shot This thing's just this thing's just kind of awesome. I I'm really enjoying it I think this is definitely the scooter for someone who doesn't know anything about scooters to buy Oh, this guy's got some chairs out back for the peeps. That's cute. Look at that That's adorable But yeah, I think for someone who doesn't know anything about scooters this is the best scooter you could buy. And I think for somebody who just wants to get a scooter for somebody or get one for yourself, I guess 200, again, under $300 shipped to my house. I mean, it really doesn't get much better than that. And you guys could see it did the gravel path just fine. So if you're taking it camping, you know, for example, it do fine there. Um, oh, it looks like we're going over a bridge here in a park. Let me make sure the camera's down for the park. Look at that. Fly right through. Nobody's here. Oh, we've got a we've got a toddler in the room. Uh -oh. Sorry. There you go. Almost hit a toddler. Um not even close. I'm not I didn't actually say toddler. But yeah, for 300 bucks, this is the best scooter ever. I'm really enjoying this. Even at these uphill climbs, I'm not dropping I'm not really dropping below 10, that's for sure. I could scoot right by the basketball park. Be the coolest kid on the road, oh god. I mean, this thing's just sick. So we're gonna cross over here, get into our final pathing zone, and we cross the road safely. Just like being a motorcycle, you gotta watch out for your. Uh, you gotta watch out for your, uh, your things to go wrong, huh? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing, this amazing scooter. Now I gotta get all the way home on a one dot of charge, so we'll see if I'll even be able to make that.
If you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe. You know, I, I enjoy making these videos. I, it's hard for me to motivate myself to edit them together. Or what I do is what you call editing. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to, to get the motivation for it. But when I get something and I'm excited about, you guys are the first to hear about it. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And uh, enjoy my cruise on up to this gazebo here. Oh, steep climb, steep climb. This is going to be the hardest test yet. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a yeah, this is a super steep climb. We're at 10. Ooh, we're at 10, 9. It's getting even steeper. You guys can see how steep it is. 9. Oh. Look at that. Can I fit up the ramp? Oof. Just barely. Oh, I'm crawling. There we go. Whew. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will see you guys uh, soon for the video on how I packed my motorcycle for my trip to Canada. Surprise! See you guys later.